اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم by the grace of Allah Rabbul Azza inshallah we shall be doing the 22nd ruku today of surah al baqarah and the first ayat ayat number 177 is very important it is also known as ayat al-bir the ayat of righteousness neki ki ayat and it is very important that what we understand what true neki is in the eyes of Allah Rabbul Azza a'uzu billahi minash shaitan Righteousness does not consist in turning your faces towards the east or towards the west. True righteousness consists in believing in Allah and the last day, the angels, the books and the prophets, and giving away one's property in love of him to one's kinsmen, the orphans, the poor and the wayfarer, and those who ask for help, and in freeing the necks of slaves, and in establishing prayer and dispensing the zakat, true righteousness is attained by those who are faithful to their promise once they, are, they have made it and by those who remain steadfast in adversity and affliction and at the time of battle between truth and falsehood such are the truthful ones such are the god fearing believers retribution is prescribed for you in case of killing if a free man is guilty then the free man if a slave is guilty then the slave if a female is guilty then the female but if something of a, something of a murderer's guilt is remitted by his brother they should be this should be adhered to in fairness and payment be made in good manner this is an alleviation this is an alleviation and a mercy from your lord and for him who commits excess after that there is a painful chastisement people of understanding there is life for you in retribution that you may guard yourselves against violating the law It is decreed that when death approaches, those of you who leave behind property shall be quit equitably to parents and kinsmen. This is an obligation of the God-fearing. Then, if anyone alters the will after hearing it, this sin shall be upon their sin shall be upon them who alter. Surely Allah is all-hearing, all-knowing. He who suspects that the testator has committed an error or injustice then brings about a settlement among the parties concerned incurs no sin surely allah is much forgiving most compassionate wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin